Welcome to Maintenance Minutes. I'm Gore McEwitt. I'm Master Mechanic of the Halton County Radio Railway. And today we're going to do some work on London Port Stanley Heavy Interurban No. 8, built in 1915. The first thing we do before we work on a car is put up our blue flag, which means you can't couple, obstruct, or move this car while we're working on it. So we're going to hang this in the front of the car so any approaching crew can see it. Uh, today we're going to change out a C6 feed valve. This is a very old style of valve that goes back to the late 1890s, early 1900s, and they require a fair bit of maintenance. Uh, they tend to be very susceptible to dirt. So we're going to put a rebuilt one on and we're going to test it. And uh, that's the, what we're up to today. So the car is live. We're working on it live with air pressure on it. So we'll cut, we want to cut out the supply to the feed valve. So sometimes these older valves, and this car is 103 years old, are a little, different, little stiff, so we put a short hump condom on here just so we can cut the valve off. Our next step is to bleed the air off the feed valve itself. We're going to remove the feed valve. And check the condition of the gasket while we're at it. While we're at it, we'll check the condition of the gasket. And it looks pretty good, so we'll reuse it. This is the rebuilt valve. There aren't too many places that will do these old feed valves anymore. They're hard to get parts for. Only about two or three places that do them, other than a few museums do them in-house. There can't be any leakage in these things. Nothing along this area. This is an area that tends to leak. You can throw the uh, adjustment out and uh, seal for the diaphragm system to be good. The slide valve in here and the pilot valve here all have to be leak-free. If they aren't, it will be very, very difficult to get everything to operate properly. Okay, now we'll open the brake pipe. And it's going into release. And we should see the brake pipe come up to about 70 pounds. There, it's gone all the way in. Now we're going to put the brakes on. It should come out about four inches. Now that it's passed all the tests, we're going to mark it so that we know that uh, we recorded that it's operating at the correct pressure and the data was done. It takes a lot of work to keep these old cars running, and uh, we can use all the help we can get. If you're interested and you think you can help us, uh, contact us at hcry.org.